Hi, I'm Peter Mary, founder of the Wed Guild, and right now I'd like to talk to you about the second requirement in the category for event direction. This requirement is going to ask that you submit to us a written example of your preventative direction checklist for the ceremony and reception. Now you might be asking, what in the heck is that? A preventative checklist? I, I, I'm just entertaining at the wedding, what's that for? Well, the definition of a master of ceremonies is the person who directs the entertainment at a function and also serves as the host and makes announcements and introduces people. But in order to direct the event, there are things that need to be maintained behind the scenes to make sure things continue to move smoothly on stage. If you've been doing this for any length of time, you've probably learned, maybe the hard way, that it's really important to check at the cake table to make sure there's actually a knife and server there. Because if we announce for the cake cutting and everybody goes over to watch and there's no knife and server, everything stalls. So we need to check for things like that. And all we're asking you to do is give us a written example of those kinds of details that you're checking behind the scenes. Now don't confuse this with your agendas. Your agendas are a written script of what's going to happen in what order. The checklist is a completely different document. It usually doesn't go into your agenda because that would be handed off to somebody else to share with them what's going to happen in what order. They don't need your checklist. But we need to see your checklist because we need to be able to verify that you understand how to check those details. This is an example of the one that I used just for the wedding reception. It's two pages long and has a lot of details that are managed behind the scenes and by writing out all the things that could go wrong and the preventative things that I can do ahead of time to make sure they don't, it enables me to make sure my event goes more smoothly and not only is that something I can use to verify to other professionals that I am directing the event but it's also something I can use in a sales meeting with a client to show them how hands-on I'm being behind the scenes to keep their event moving smoothly so if you're not currently doing this I'd highly recommend taking the time to write one of these up if you are currently doing it make sure that it has all the details that you manage and, and keep an eye on behind the scenes so we can see your thought process and how you're managing the event and that will help your application committee to get a good idea of how you do this requirement. Now if you have any questions about this requirement feel free to go to the wedguild.com slash community board forums where you can post any questions you have in our public forums and, and we'll do our best to answer you there. Also while you're there make sure to register for our mentor program where we can get you connected with a current member who can help you put together a really strong application. If you have any direct questions for me please feel free to send me an email peter at wedguild.com